parts, consumer spending drives about 60% of the UK economy. So if consumers spend less, it has a knock-on impact for more general economic growth. We're going to talk now to Dr. Amna Khan, a lecturer in consumer behaviour at Manmet University. Nice to see you, Amna. Uh, we keep hearing a lot about how Brexit is impacting consumer confidence. I can't quite work out, if for people who don't necessarily follow politics that closely, seeing the Prime Minister coming back from Brussels looking a bit disappointed. How does that translate to someone not buying a new top for the Christmas do, for example? Consumer confidence is influenced by a range of factors, and one key factor is political stability in the country. Okay. So if consumers feel that they're in a political environment that's unsta unstable, they're going to feel uncertain about purchasing. Now, that translates a lot to their personal spend because they want to see how that influences them, them personally. So how does that influence their wage pack in real terms? If that influences them, they're going to be like, can I spend this money? Can I part with this? So those decisions are influenced about by political instability. Even if you're not following every twist and turn of the politics? What we need to be aware of is, is Brexit's been on the agenda since June of 2016. Okay. This is a long time for consumers in their memory to consistently get the same message about uncertainty. And at the end of the day, you've just had news from ASOS, which yeah. is a pure play retailer that's been quite significant in the online market. Traditionally, the news that we used to hear was high street retailers yes. are suffering. Yeah. If an on -retail, online retailer is suffering, it's going to shake the market a bit more because consumers are now thinking it's not and just a high street. And breed on itself, can't it? Another thing that can breed on itself psychologically is sales. If we see a decent sale happening once a month instead of twice a year, we're going to be waiting for lower prices, aren't we? Well, consumers have changed the way they shop. And we know that from the recession in 2008, consumers are more savvy. What does that mean? We've got the internet in our hand on mm. a mobile device. We've got information available to us. Hot UK deals consistently telling us about deals, consistently telling us about coupons. We're armed with that information now when we go into a retailer and look at their goods so we can compare it there and then. That is meaning that consumers are making more decisions about price sensitivity. That's exasperated by the price competition between disposable fashion. We've got yeah. organisations such as Boohoo reported that they'd been quite successful, but they're selling clothes, coordinates, a top and a, pair, a skirt for £16. So in a way, price is coming down. It's a good thing for consumers, isn't it? For consumers, this is quite an important time because it's changed things for them. They've got a price war. Empowered. War, empowered. Yeah. They're definitely empowered. They've got pricing competitions that are happening, which is making it a more favourable market for them. The unfortunate situation is, is they're uncertain about what's going to happen with Brexit. OK, and finally, Amna, uh, before we go, what does a bit of last-minute Christmas shopping say about a person? It says that you're really, really savvy. You're savvy. waiting for those deals. Waiting for the bargain. We know that retailers are bringing their uh, Boxing Day sales forward, yep. so you, you're making the most of what's out there. You see? There we go, Naga. Gudrun, what does it say if someone claims that they, it makes them more decisive? Amna, so, so what about if someone said it makes them feel a bit more decisive? There's also something in that, isn't there? Well, consumers are able to control what they do more by the information that they've got. So there you can we play go. It both there ways. we go. Sorted. Thank you very much. No, Amna. I'm not quite sure. I know exactly what I'm doing. Not quite sure. <laughs> Amna, Amna, Amna. Dr Amna Khan, thank you very much.